I am Lisa Barber. I am a new water control room operator at the City of Toledo. I've been here for six weeks after finishing uh, the Owens Water Treatment Profession Certificate in May. I am a Class 1 Certified Water Supply Operator in Training. So my responsibilities in the water treatment process are to monitor and verify chemical feed rates. So any chemicals that we're using in the treatment process, uh, we want to make sure that we are hitting those targets. And so I'm taking hourly readings and doing calculations to make sure that we're hitting the targets that are being set. Depending on the quality of the water, the chemists determine which chemicals we need at certain doses to accomplish appropriate water treatment to meet the targets for uh, EPA regulations to make sure that we're sending out good, clean, healthy water to our, to our citizens. I came across an article about this program at Owens that was going to be grant funded um, and teach you how to qualify as a water treatment operator. And I loved the fact that it was science-based and it was service. We were basically full-time in class. Um, it was an intensive semester. We were learning a lot. It was a full course load. Uh, we learned some basics of environmental science. Um, we also learned a lot about sampling techniques for water treatment and wastewater treatment. We learned a lot about math and the science that goes into those things. Uh, we did a lot of sampling and lab analysis, uh, learning all the basics to prepare us not only to work in the field, but to pass the EPA licensing exams. Um, not knowing what to expect when I first sat down to take it, the first few questions I knew that we were well prepared by the instructors in our classes. So even before you enrolled at Owens, they had you take a placement exam and that identified if there were any areas that you might need more help with and that help was available. Um, they could recommend classes or outside um, resources to kind of help brush up on different topics. While we were in classes, there was math lab available, there was tutoring available. Our instructors were always available to answer any questions. Um, and then after classes were finished, if anybody needed extra support in passing their exams, um, there, was, there was support for that as well. So in any training program, in any classes, you're going to have some support from, from your professors. You're going to have some support from the school that's sending you. But in this program, we had support from the community and other people who work in this field and were legitimately interested in getting us involved in this field too and seeing us succeed. So we met with a lot of people who worked in the field, a lot of administrators, people who gave us tips on working on the exam and passing the exam. We got tips on job interviews and where to go and what kinds of places we might might be good fits for us. We had the support from the university, we had support from our instructors, and we had support from the water workforce in general. Right now I'm six weeks in, right? So I am the low man on the totem pole. I am the new guy. I feel often like I know nothing, and yet I do understand what is going on. I have a lot to learn yet about the process at this particular plant. But because of my foundation in the class, I understand what's going on. I understand what questions to ask. I like going to work and knowing that I'm doing something important. I like having something fulfilling to do, and I like being of service to my community, and this is a way that I can do that. If you're looking for something new and interesting with potential for growth, there's a lot of great things about working in water. You're working for cities and municipalities that have great benefits and great pay. Uh, so there's opportunities for growth and development. A lot of places will help with tuition assistance so that once you're in the field, you can move and learn more and get into different roles. Now that I've completed the classes, I have a clear path forward, right? I may not necessarily know exactly what my next steps will be, but I have a, a career in place with a lot of options for growth and development. People can take it for granted, right? You get to turn on your tap and not think about it, and that's because so many people are doing their jobs and putting in that effort and, and watching over the process really carefully to make sure that, that people get the water that they need. And it's a matter of public service, so you're able to provide a service that's vital to your community that you're in and what's not to love about that.